let's change our size class back to the default, which is the iPhone XR. And we want to fix our problem where our background image gets cut off when the orientation changes. So how can we do this? Well, essentially, we need this background to resize itself so that all four edges of that image is tied to the four edges of our screen so that the top edge here is always sticking zero pixels to the top of whatever orientation the screen's in. The right is always sticking zero pixels to the right of the screen. The bottom is zero from the bottom and the left is zero from the left. But of course, we can't just adjust our image like so, because as soon as we flip back to the other orientation, it stays exactly the same. So we need to add some rules or constraints onto this image view. And that is what we're going to tackle in this lesson. To begin, let's make sure that you also have the same size class selected, the iPhone XR, and that it's in portrait mode. And then we're going to select our app brewery background image view and we're going to resize it so that it fits the entire screen of our iPhone XR. And then we're going to make sure that our logo is bang in the middle of our screen. So this is kind of our desired look, at least in portrait. From here, we're going to add some constraints to our app brewery background so that even when it's in landscape, or on a different device, it still is touching all four sides of the phone and it's stretching to fit the entire screen. And then we're gonna go and click on this button right here, the little square button, which is going to allow us to add a constraint. And the constraint that we wanna add is to specify a zero pixel distance from the top of the phone, zero from the left, zero from the right, and zero from the bottom. So we're going to click on these red lines and turn them from these dashed lines to solid lines to activate those four constraints. And then we're simply going to click on this button. Now, if you don't see zero in each of these boxes, then go back and make sure that your background is placed exactly like so, and it's fitting the entire screen. Once you're done, go ahead and click add four constraints. And now when we go into our landscape orientation, you can see that our background image view is now more or less stretching to fit the entire space. But there's a couple of problems here. Firstly, why is it that our background is not going all the way to the left and right? What's going on there? Well, we can actually explore our constraints and figure out what's gone wrong with them by expanding our constraints here. And we can see what these constraints or rules are doing to our user interface. So the first one is a rule that says the right side or the trailing side as highlighted here of our app brewery background should be equal to the safe areas trailing. So this means that when our phone goes into landscape, the safe area is the area which normally contains either the battery information or the signal information of the phone. And at the bottom of the iPhone XR, it's the home button, essentially. It's the part which you swipe to go back to the home area. So often if we're creating an app that has buttons on it, then we don't want it to be in these safe areas. So we'll define rules that keeps it out of these areas. But in our case, because it's just a background, we want our background to actually cover the entire screen rather than have this sort of blocky effect. So we actually don't want it to be set to the safe areas trailing. And in fact, we want it to be set to the super view. So this is our current element. The super view is the view that contains this element. And this super view that's at the base of our view controller is always going to be covering the entire screen. So we want to define this constraint rather than relative to the safe area. We're going to define it to the super view. So this one right here. 
and we're going to say that it should be equal to the superviews trailing. So now our Apri background, the trailing, the right side edge, is now fitted to be zero pixels from the trailing edge of our view. So that's the one that's highlighted in blue right here. And if we now go into landscape, you can see it's now fitting right to the edge of that right side or the trailing side. So let's go ahead and fix the same thing with our leading view. So you can see we've got our Apriri background leading set to be equal to the safe area leading. So let's go ahead and change that from safe area to the super view. And now when we go into landscape, you can see that it looks perfect as it is. Now you can see that each of these rules, when you click on them, you can view them in more detail in the attribute pane. And you can see the rules that have been set up here that set the constraint between a first item and a second item and the relationship between them. So for example, if I wanted my app brewery background top to stop at the safe area, then I would change this to my safe area and change that constant to zero. So the top of my image view is now zero from the top of my safe area. And, and if you wanna see where the safe area actually is, you can simply click on it here and you can see where it stops on the top and the bottom and also in the landscape orientation as well. Let's restore that constraint back to what it used to be, which is where the top is equal to the top of the super view. And let's look at another thing. If we take a look at the trailing, so the one on the right, it's currently set to the super views trailing, but we can also set it to be relative to the margin. So the margin is that thing that pops up when we have an element that we drag to the right or to the left. You can see that blue line that pops up. And often when you have a button or when you have a logo, you don't want it to be right to the edge because it's hard to read. And instead, you want it to have a little bit of a margin to the edges. So in that case, you can define this to be relative to the margin of the super views trailing area. So if I select that, then change my constant to zero and hit enter, you can see it's now limiting my background to that margin. So these are some of the things that you can do with your constraints. And when you add them using the menu here, they don't always get added the way that you think it will. You can have a little bit more control over it if you click on the drop down list. So for example, if I select my logo here and I click on here, then you can see that I can define it relative to the safe area or to the view. And I can change the distance or the value from those areas. So our background is now pretty much sorted. And if we take a look at all the different device sizes, all the way from small ones to large ones, it's basically adapting it to fit the entire screen background. And even when we change the orientation, it still looks pretty good. The next thing to do is to figure out how we can lay out our logo. And to do that, we need to learn about alignment. And that is what we're gonna do on the next lesson. So I'll see you there.